Hey, Lorraine. Hello, Tracy. How are you? I'm fantastic, and I love this idea of number one, talking travel, but number two, talking eco-friendly travel, because you can do that. You can, and yeah. there is definitely a good way to do that, and if you support local by staying local, so let's talk Canada first. Yeah. And there's even a tax break at the moment That's for right. doing that. Yes. So let's start with Algonquin National Park beautiful I mean mm. the crown jewels of Canada absolutely gorgeous and if we look at Algonquin Eco Lodge they have 40 kilometers of beautiful just green and in the summer of course green but in the yes. winter it's year-round trails and you can go on these beautiful trails you can go snowshoeing you can do cross-country skiing and then in the summer you could go on canoes and go out into the beautiful lakes it's absolutely gorgeous Stunning. so staying within Canada head over to Nova Scotia now this is for the luxury lover if you're going to give That's the gift me. to a luxury me too mm -hmm. and if you're one of those people that you really need to force a person to switch off this this is great because it is the most beautiful, luxurious eco lodge called Trout Point Lodge in Nova Scotia. Okay. And um, it, I promise to turn off my phone if I go here <laughs> because they have fantastic, innovative programs. They are of, um, really big foodies, and it's in a lovely, lovely, lovely area. So Keith, hint, hint. Yes. That's what she wants. I know, right? That's what she wants to go. <laughs> surrender my phone. I promise. <laughs> okay. So then, all the way across Canada now to BC. Yes. the Spirit Bear Lodge. Yeah. Now, this is very close to my heart. It's indigenous owned. It is set in the Kitasu Shai Shai uh, traditional territory mm -hmm. in BC. And you can actually sometimes spot the white bear. It's related to the black bear, so it's not a polar bear. Uh -huh. Very, very, very rare. And you can do all these viewings from this viewing platform there, so you kind of feel a little safer. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, only 150 left in the world. Wow. Now, if you're gifting somebody just for a weekend getaway and yeah. you want to be an urbanite, well, perhaps you want to choose a hotel that's a little bit more sustainable and is committed to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. So, like the One Hotel. It's yes. called the One Hotel, not the One Hotel. Yeah. The One Hotel in Toronto. And they are are actually diverting 85% of their uh, waste away from landfill. They have an on-site mm. composter, 3,300 plants, and they even turn their unused or their used um, oils and things from the kitchen into biofuel. Whoa, I know. that's incredible. That's Listen, cool. I've only seen pictures of one hotel. It's right here in Toronto. It looks gorgeous. It yes, looks so lovely. green and beautiful. They've done a lovely job. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. let's talk about international eco trips. What yes, have we got out international, there? Yes, international, absolutely. Let's start with Costa Rica. Fantastic country to go to for an eco trip. Uh, mm -hmm. They are committed to net zero by 2050. Wow. They have reversed deforestation, and you could stay somewhere like the um, the Cavita, the Cavita Lodge, which which is mm -hmm. absolutely, Playa Cavita, absolutely gorgeous. And um, they actually have all of their uh, electricity produced by hydropower. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Now, another place would be the Azores. Yes. Oh, my goodness. The hills and the mountains and the volcanoes mm -hmm. and the oceans and the lakes and the, oh, my, perfect. But they are actually officially a designated eco-friendly destination officially okay yes and you can you can stay in all manner of different eco places in in the azores and even have dinner cooked in a volcano <gasps> mm -hmm. very cool it's Listen, five hours away from toronto too so it's really it's quick. just five hours away yes. anyone who's from the azores will tell you you've got to go because my neighbors used to all yes. be from that area of the world uh and it's just stunning we've yes. been to portugal we've not been to we did not go to the azores so it's I'd definitely like worth to. it i would like I to would like to. Okay, okay, so flying, not the most eco-friendly thing. Is there anything we can do about that? Yes, there is. Definitely there is. So flying, of course, you're never going to be super eco-friendly, but we are 80% better than we were in the 1960s. So we have moved forward. Mm -hmm. Newer planes are more eco-friendly than older planes, okay. obviously. Um, and there are things that you can do when you are traveling. So, for example, you can buy into an, a voluntary offset program. Mm -hmm. So you could actually buy into something 
something like Qatar's voluntary offset program, which you can, that they divert your money to wind farms. There's another company called Trees for Travel. You can buy a tree for that. Um, the other thing you can do is fly direct mm. and also um, take your own water bottles, yes. check in online, yeah. and if possible, fly economy. Don't fly business class. Sorry, Tracy, Why? but you know, and also pack light. Uh, ooh, yeah. I don't know if I can commit to that one fully, but I may be oh. able to pack light going, yeah, and then pack heavier coming back. At least I'm doing half a job, right? Can uh, I do yes. half a job? That's it. That's what I want to do. I can commit to yeah, that too, I can Lorraine. Commit to that. Thank yeah, you for half that. away. That's a good list. So it's economy better. because you have to travel lighter, right? You have to travel lighter, and it and it's better for us. We're never going to be fully eco in flying and traveling, but there is a, something that we can do and do our part. Very good, Lorraine. Thank you. You can find her travel tips and suggestions up on our website, cityline.com.